Hey there, I'm Del Shanzi, and I'm back with the 304 reasons the flat top is the only unit you want to be flying as a paramotor or buying or using for training. Uh, 304 reasons, we are on page 18. So let's just get right back into it because there's a lot of pieces to it. Uh, okay. The rounded flap on the top of the electronics pack helps prevent the jacket, harness, uh, clothing, and other things from going into the muffler. So on our electric start units the, that have those electronics, everything is stored in such a way where it's screwed straight to the electronics pack so that it is not going to be falling off and going into the engine. This is, you know, it sounds like, uh, what? Well, that's, you know, hey. But the, uh, you know, if you have experience with other units, you'll know you could be flying along and all of a sudden your netting could fall right into the prop in flight. Or, you know, the wiring could come off and a little cheesy cheap tie wrap breaks and your whole electronic string comes off and goes through the prop. So with the flat top, we do put it all in a very logical, intelligent place and set it up in a way where it's not going to be getting snagged on clothing or get banged off during launch or fall into the prop uh, if you have any issues. The electronic pack uses Velcro to attach to the frame which both secures it in place and adds yet another barrier between the pilot and the vibration of the motor. So when we mount the electronics pack, uh, it's not only form-fitted perfectly into place and held in place by all the wires being the exactly correct length, so the wires back it up, but it's also held on with Velcro, so you're not metal to metal. And that helps uh, alleviate some of the vibration from going from the frame directly into your electronics, which has thus lowered your failure rate still further. So your electronics are secured in a way where the vibration is not killing your electronics. Um, the wires to the electrical connectors that attach to the electronics pack are made just the right length so when they are connected, they hold the electronics pack in place even if the Velcro were to fail. Okay, so I sort of touched on that one. So the electronics pack with the electric start units each of the three wire connectors and on the two sides are made the exact length. So when you put the electronics pack in place and snap the connectors in that lock in securely, they also back up so that even if the Velcro were to fail, the electronics pack can't go anywhere because it's already held in place by the wires being the perfect length. A simple electrical system put together with trouble-free electrical connectors and no solder, so working on it or replacing parts is a piece of cake. Uh, another part with the electric start units is that electronics pack, everything is screwed in place and you're using the highest quality electrical connectors that either snap or lock in the place, so you're not having to solder every single little thing if you need to change something. And lots of little things like that, it just makes it very simple to work with and to deal with. Uh, and to replace parts if you did have any issue. Open electronics pack, so when you remove it, you don't have to tear into it to get to anything. It is all laid out logically and cleanly so anyone can work on it with minimal effort. Again, you have an electrical box, but the back is left open towards the unit. All the pieces are connected securely to the pack so you can see and follow exactly where all the electronics go. And it's very simple to see the plan and the wiring plan on the back of the electronics. Everything is put in a very logical, methodical order and designed by someone that really knows what they're doing and takes the time to make it like it's their unit. So it's something that you're gonna enjoy having. Um, let's see. A removable electronics packs means if you have any electrical problem, you can just ship back the electronics pack without having to diagnose the entire system yourself. If there is a problem, a whole new pack can easily be shipped to you that is easy for you to just clip on, back on, making service and trouble-free possible. So with the electrical start units, with that electronics pack, if you did have some sort of electrical issue, that was difficult to figure out, 
It is very simple. You pop three connectors, you rip off the Velcro, and you have the whole electronics pack in your hand. You ship it back to us, we ship you another one, or we cross ship one, you pop on the new one, you clip on three connectors, bam, you're done. Very, very simple. Which, <clears throat> again, if you've owned other paramotors or had years and years of experience with other units, you would realize that that is a huge difference because nobody else does it that way. Everybody else, you've got stuff wired all over the place or like one, the whole thing is like glued and screwed together and it takes you a half a day just to try and open it and get to the electronics. Royal pain in the butt. So everything we can do to make it better, safer, easier, more reliable, we do it. State-of-the-art battery weighs only one, uh, 12 ounces. Uh, <laughs> and the batteries we use on the flat top with electric starts are not LiPos. They are not the units that catch on fire if you short out your battery. Again, a lot of units are using batteries that if there's any short to that battery, that battery will literally burst into flames. Not a good idea for an aircraft. So the flat top, we're using very, very stable batteries that is new nanotechnology. So if you do short out the battery, it just vents and bam, it's totally safe. Makes a big difference. And that, again, is just one more of those things that could really save your butt. State-of-the-art battery with uh, 16 volts will crank the starter motor so fast it actually produces a bit of thrust. No more issues with weak cranking because of voltage drop under load. So using a smaller starter to try and start a large CC two-stroke motor, the problem is, is a lot of them start with a 12-volt battery. Well, you press the start button and under load, you're only getting nine volts or maybe eight, nine uh, volts. And so you can have really weak cranking. So with the flat top, we use a 16-volt battery that's a much higher quality battery. So when you press that start button under load, then maybe it goes from 16 volts and you get your true 13 volts or always have at least bare minimum your 12 volts so the unit cranks much easier it's much easier on the starter and your unit cranks much better uh, state-of-the-art batteries will not explode if shorted like other versions of lithium cells again we kind of hit that one up there but using the correct technology and the right batteries in the right place and using a nanotechnology battery that's gonna hold up well the vibration and get knocked around if you trip and fall down. It just makes the whole unit safer. Uh, State-of-the-art batteries are factory linked for optimal connectivity and maximum reliability. So the battery packs are professionally made. You don't just have Joe Jimmy Bob in the back room just kind of slapping and wiring things together. The electronic, the batteries are made professionally um, and sent to us as an actual professional product. So you're having much higher quality stuff than people just slapping stuff together. And, you know, it doesn't sound like, you know, you really don't understand how huge these things are un unless you had vast experience with other paramotors that don't have things like this, where electrical issues and electrical connectors failing are a major issue. Of course, with the pull start unit, it's nice because you don't have any of those issues. You don't even have those electronics and there is no battery. You pull it, it starts. But with the electric unit, if you need a unit that has an electric start, the flat top does have all of these things designed to try and make it safer, more functional, and more reliable. And that is page 18 of the 304 reasons the flat top is really the only unit that competent pilots buy or fly. See you next time.